Hey everybody, how are y'all doing? Uh, this is Blanche, also known as Sparkle Kiss, here with a video for you to give you a little bit information and a mini tutorial on comments sold, okay? Uh, for those that may have seen my videos in the past, um, I used to use my Square store as a way of keeping track with inventory and as a third party tool to be able to um, sell my on hand inventory that I have in stock um, to my customers whenever I'm not live. And so that worked out really well. I still use Square as my, um, my major platform of, um, how I take payments from my customers, whether you know I'm live or I'm doing an event or whatever the case may be. So anyway, uh, I've gotten a lot of questions about um, you know how I like Comment Soul, what it's all about, how do you use it. So I decided, well, it's about time to make a video about it so that I can explain it and break it down for everyone. Okay. And so with that being said, I am a paparazzi independent consultant, and my consultant ID number is six nine two four two. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and get started. I will um, share my screen with you so you can see a little bit of how it all works, okay? All right, so here we go. Let's start the sharing with the screen. Okay, so let me say this too first as um, a little bit of a disclaimer, okay? I would suggest comment sold if you have a large inventory already um, if you have a consistent um, customer base where they're buying on a regular basis, or if you're ready to just go, go just give it your all and um, hold back on nothing and you're going to do it and you're going to do it big in running your uh, paparazzi business, okay? So that's what I just wanted to make sure that people know, like, um, yes, you can use it as a beginner, but it's not something that I would really suggest for a beginner just starting out because um, Comment Soul is going to be a, a platform that you do pay for. So I do consider this an investment into my business and a very good one um, with that being said. So that's that part. I just wanted to get that out the way um, to each his own. But again, it would be something that I suggest for someone who, you know, again, has a larger um, inventory on hand or and or your customer base is already kind of a little bit established and you're making regular sales so that it, you know, it pays off and it benefits you. OK, um, otherwise, go check my square video on how to set up a free square store. OK, it doesn't cost you anything. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the site. You want to go to commentsoul.com. OK, uh, right here, you'll see it says start your free trial. So when you click on it, um, it does break it down for you and show you the plans that they have. OK, they got the startup for forty nine dollars a month. They have the boutique for one forty nine a month. And then if you got like a really, really big enterprise going on, then you can just um, call them or send a message down here to them about that. OK, so either either one that you do of the first two does give you a free trial of two weeks. OK, so it gives, gives you like um, an opportunity to see how it how it's working for you, how it's running. I personally think um, two weeks is really not long enough for you to really get a great idea of how it works. But um, I saw a huge, huge improvement in my business and in my sales within that first two weeks of the trial run. So I decided to keep it and to continue to use it. And I love it and my customers love it. Okay. So now let's go on. Once you get all squared away and you have, you know, you're all set up and you're ready to go and you've started your free trial. Okay. One of the first things that you're going to want to do is you're going to go, you're going to want to do the setup part. Okay. That's kind of like the beginning of everything, right? So um, you have your, you know, you create your shop name. Of course, my business name is Sparkle Kiss LLC. You can find that, you know, on my Facebook. You can find that on my Instagram, um, you know, my VIP. So that is my business name. And of course, if you need to edit anything, you can do that there. I am in the um, Arizona area. So I have my time zone set for me, you know, here in Arizona. And then, of course, it allows you to be able to give a description of your shop, what you want to say about it and then uh, what your shipping address would be as a reflection to your customers, okay? So there's a lot of options here to be able to choose from. I do recommend you kind of read through it and see what you think is good for your business or what you would like to try. And these buttons here, when you go through, it allows you to either enable or um, disable them, 
okay? So I like that. It's really just literally the, the switch of a button, okay, to enable or disable something, a different feature. So the other thing that is fairly, um, a new thing that I've noticed is that um, the keyword here, when uh, my customers are shopping my live or when they are on my VIP page, um, the keyword that I have is sold. Okay, so they would say sold, they put a space, and then I have three digit numbers in place for my items, okay? Sold is the key word. But now here, um, there's this edit button. So maybe your word that you've already been previously using with your customers is bling or glam, or you know whatever your keyword is, you, know, you can totally put that in there. So I thought, oh, that's really cool that they did that. Okay, but again, you just check out these different features here and see, you know, whatever it is that you need or don't need. Um, one of the things here that I want to point out is that this, this whole system has taken away, um, you know, I have really amazing customers and like 99% of them will pay their invoices on time. And then sometimes, you know, um, you may get um, a new customer or maybe someone who, has, who hasn't shopped with you as much and um, they may not pay their invoice in a timely fashion. And so I used to have to send reminders, you know, friendly reminders like, you know, hey, just a friendly reminder, your invoice was due, you know, maybe 24 hours ago or 48 hours or whatever the case may be, you know, please complete payment so I can go ahead and ship out your amazing jewels to you. So this just like took that completely out of the way and I love that, okay? You can set this expire shopping cart for how many ever number of hours you want. I prefer 12 hours. So my customers literally have 12 hours to complete their payment, okay? As we all know, it takes less than 60 seconds to pick up your credit card, put the numbers in there and hit submit, right? But um, I have 12 hours in place for mine. You can make it whatever you want, 24, 48 or what have you. So um, this right here, what it'll, as soon as a customer puts the item into their shopping cart, uh, the little timer will start and they can see the timer and it will um, show them you know, how long they have. And then right here, um, because it's an automated system, right? The system will automatically, uh, within six hours, if they haven't paid, it'll just send them a, a reminder for me, either through the messenger or through their email, okay? So I love that, it just really, it takes that, that aspect in the past um, out of the picture. And so I like that a lot, okay? Now, let's go on here. Uh, some of the important things that you obviously need to be able to set up with your, um, in your setup process is your shipping. So for me, I charge a flat rate of $4. Whatever your shipping is, you can put it in there and you can update it, you can change it at any time. Of course, you know, being paparazzi independent consultants, uh, we don't ship or sell outside of the US, so I don't have anything here for Canada. I just leave that blank, okay? Um, and then one of the other features that I have in mind is when my customers purchase $100 or more, then I give them free shipping, okay? And then this, this button right here is definitely one of my favorite features that I love as well. Um, let's just say my customer orders something right now. Okay, and then let's just say tomorrow within 24 hours of, you know, the moment that they add to their cart and check out, they paid for that order. And let's just say tomorrow within that 24 hour period, because um, I'm constantly adding new things to my store, my common soul store on a regular basis several times a week. Um, they'll come back and they'll say, see something that they wanted, or maybe they forgot something in their order, or maybe they wanted to get an extra of whatever they already ordered, right? So they can go back in there and they can purchase again and not have to pay shipping for a second time because they have now made a purchase within that 24 hour period of their last payment, okay? So I love that. Again, it's automated. There's nothing I have to do, you know, follow up on or anything. The system already takes care of it for me. So you do have to make sure this feature is enabled if you wanna use it. Otherwise, you would click disable 24 hour shipping if you don't wanna use that feature. Again, it's all up to you and your business and how you want to run it and what you think works really well for me. For me, I love that feature and my customers love it as well, okay? All right, and then of course I have, um, you know, a pickup option available for my local ladies um, that don't need to pay shipping because they live, you know, within driving distance of me, right? Um, you can also combine orders to ship together if you want to do that. It's just so many different amazing features on here um, that you can use if you need to use it, okay? So again, you just kind of scroll through everything, read through everything, and see what you need, what you don't need, okay? All right, um, the next important thing, of course, is going to be taxes. So right now, 
because it's my birthday was just yesterday. So this is my birthday month, July. Um, what I decided to do was to give a gift to my customers and the taxes are on me. So currently right now you see that it says 0, 0.00 total tax, right? But when, I, when my special is over and I'm done with that, then I will add my, my tax back in here and you can create it to be customized for, you know, um, your city, your state and things like that. So I love that, that you can, you know, fix that to whatever you need it to be. Okay. All right. So right now all the, all the, all the tax is disabled and, and zero on because I'm running this special for, it started yesterday and it runs through today. Right. Um, but that's really easy to put your taxes in there. Okay. So then there's other things in here that, um, that you can set up as well. That's all a part of the setup that you need, you know, like you need to change your password, so on and so forth. Now, here's another important thing that you want to look at. You want to look at payment gateways, okay? This is how you're going to be paid uh, by comments sold automatically, okay? Now, I have what's called a Sizzle account, which is going to be a separate YouTube video that I talk about, which is a buy now, pay later system where my customers can go into the, the comment soul store of mine. They can purchase their items. Um, it is, a, again, it's a buy now, pay later. So it will allow them to pay in installments and they would pay um, a small amount down on their first installment. Sizzle will turn around. They will pay me my money up front, right? They take the risk. They pay me my money up front. And then my customers, I'm able to ship their jewelry out to them right away. So I love this. This has also been a game changer and an upsell to my business. Um, Sizzle is going to also be a paid um, option. There is a trial period. I have a referral code. So I will make sure again that I update that and, um, or not update that, but I put it into that separate video that I'm going to make for Sizzle. And I will more than likely drop it in the comments of this video as well. And if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel right now here at Sparkle Kids, okay? So um, Sizzle is an option of getting additional pay. Um, also, if you have Stripe, you can totally use Stripe. If you use PayPal, a lot of, a lot of uh, paparazzi business um, uh, consultants like to use PayPal. I don't use PayPal, but I do use Square, okay? So you can see where it says Square is connected for me. I have been using Square for approximately two years. Um, I absolutely love it for so many different reasons. There's so many perks to using it that um, you know PayPal doesn't have and other payment features don't have. But um, I could you know talk about that more in another video. So um, I do use Square, and that is how my payments are connected up. And so when my customers go into the store and they purchase, then um, Comment Soul pays me directly into my Square account. Okay. So again, you can do, set it up with whatever payment method that you need. Um, if it's Square, if it's PayPal, if it's Stripe. And of course, if you decide to use the buy now, pay later option through Sizzle as well, okay? So, and then look right here, it allows you to read, refund directly to the customer's card as well, okay? And then and this that I just realized is that this can only be done if you are using um, a, PayPal, a PayPal account, okay? All right, so let's move on here. Um, I have my, my system set up as well to be able to use on Instagram. So when I make posts on there, my customers can also shop through Instagram as well, okay? You can also make labels through um, comments. So it really is a really nice one-stop shop. Um, I have done a mock trial with the labels and I really, I, I have a PayPal video, I mean, a video, a YouTube video on how to ship through PayPal. And um, I just kind of left PayPal alone. And so I actually ship through Pirate Ship, okay? I'm gonna make a separate video on that as well. But um, it appears as though, and I'm, I, I need to run this trial again and see, but it appears as though I get the better discount through Pirate Ship. And so, um, I have not yet decided to enable making uh, my, my shipping labels here, so I do currently make them through Pirate Ship, but just want to let you know that the feature and the option is available as a one-stop shop to make your labels through Comment Soul as well, okay? Now, if you have a Shopify store, um, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, that you do have to set up your Comment Soul first and then set up your Shopify for them to sync or you may be able to just sync it up with it already established. I'm not 100% on that part, 
um, because I do not currently have a Shopify store. I've had one in the past before, you know, I even um, began as a paparazzi consultant, but it is an, a really nice option to know that, you know, if you do also use Shopify that you can sync those two up together, okay? So I won't go into too much discussion on that because again, that's not a, a territory that I'm 100% familiar with, okay? And then of course, there's also uh, the options here that you need to set up the returns for, you know, just in case, you know, if you need to return something with your customer. Okay, now, that's the main part. You gotta get that all set up and get that all squared away and then you're all good to go, okay? I love this right here. This dashboard is kind of, of course, like your homepage. It's gonna be like the quick, the quick snapshot of everything to show you, you know, how many orders you have, how many customers you have, you know, your revenue. You can look at this by the total, um, the daily, the month to date, or the year to date. So I love that. And then, of course, any pending revenue that you have. And that would be for if someone has something that's in their shopping cart, um, but they have not yet paid for it yet, okay? It'll also show you the comments, whether some, someone commented, you know, again, I have this um, connected to my VIP page, I have it connected up to my business page. And that's something also that um, I do want to make sure that I do establish, that in order to use comments sold for the system to um, work as the automated system it was intended to be for, you do have to have it set up to either your business page or either your group page, okay? I have seen some consultants still use it um, with just their personal um, Facebook page. However, um, the automated portion does not work that way. So you would manually add the items to your cart, which is totally fine if you wanna do that too. Um, I just prefer, I've been using my business page for quite some time anyway, and, um, and my VIP group is uh, a little bit newer, but um, I prefer to use those two options um, so that the system does capture those payments and those comments for me without me having to, you know, go back and look and search and things like that. So um, just keep that in mind that it does work as an automated system through your business page or and or your VIP page group, okay, group page. Um, but you can use it from your personal if you like just know that again, it won't be automated that way, okay? So anyway, um, this is again, just a snapshot to show you, you know, your latest orders and things like that, okay? Now, this is the big, this is the next big bulk of anything that you're doing, whether it's Shopify, Square, Store, Comments Sold, or what have you, you know, maybe something altogether different, maybe like um, Wix or, you know, just something totally different is adding products, okay? This, I, as I had mentioned before in my YouTube with Square, this is one of the most tedious processes. This is the part that is going to take the most of your time. Once you're all set up and established and you have this done, then it, it, it just flows like butter. It's very, very smooth, okay? So please keep that in mind if you decide to set up any type of web store that you do have to have patience. Um, know that it is gonna take you some time to get it done, especially depending on your inventory. Like I have a very large inventory. Right now you can see I only have 648 products here in my inventory, but I have more items that still <laughs> have to be uploaded to my site because I order on a daily basis, okay? So just be very patient with the process, okay? So here you can see some of my items. Um, I actually did a live back on the 16th. Um, and so this allowed me to be able to um, sneak to, the, to my live what items I wanted to show. So I did an earring party that day. It was just earrings only. And again, it allowed me to, sh to pick which items I wanted to show, which, you know, all the earrings here that you see that I wanted to show. And so here is where the number would be. In this case, I just let it go one, two, three, four, five like that. But you can change this if you have like set numbers for set items you know, you can make this number 235 or number, you know, 567 or whatever you want it to be, okay? All right, and those are numbers that your customers will comment. And then it also tells me like my quantities, you know, how much I have in stock, right? So again, this is also a really useful tool in um, keeping me very organized and also helping me to know exactly how much of each item I have in my inventory without having to manually continue to go back and forth with it, okay? So the first thing you're going to do with this is you're going to hit the add product button. Okay, very simple, very easy. All right, so what we're gonna put into the system here is we're gonna put these beautiful acrylic earrings, kind of like this cheetah print with the post back. 
absolutely gorgeous. These are a beautiful size. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so in order to put this into the system, I'm gonna give you this example of how you would do it. All right, I prefer to give everything its actual name. Um, as you well know, in paparazzi, the name, the SKU number, a barcode is already on each item. You can also find the name when you Google. You can also, um, sorry about that, my phone was ringing. <laughs> you can also find the name when you Google. And then of course, um, you can always pull up your complete order history in your back office, okay? That is like super duper easy and simple for you to be able to see every piece of jewelry you've ever ordered, okay? If it's a hostess reward, then that's when I really go and use Google the most because um, I can just type in keywords like, you know, long purple bling necklace. And then I always put paparazzi behind it so that um, Google will show me the paparazzi jewelry and not other jewelry, okay? So this first item again um, that I just showed you, those acrylic earrings, it's called Hot Savannah. So I'm gonna type the name in here. Again, you can call it or, you know, say whatever you want to say with it. Um, but we're gonna fill in, we're gonna fill in the pieces that the system does require to be filled in, okay? I do everything by color. All my items are color um, organized. So I always type in brown. For example, these earrings are brown. If they were red, I would say red for you know, example. And then I always say what the item is. Earrings, a necklace, a ring, a bracelet, okay? Again, you can call it whatever you want to call it. So there's the name, Hot Savannah Brown Earrings, okay? The system does ask you, what did it cost you? So us, of course, in paparazzi know that we pay the amazing price of $2.75 for our jewelry. So I put that in there for this. I have additional prices in here um, for in case like if I'm selling like a set together, like two pieces together, obviously I would have paid $5.50. If it's four pieces, $11 and so on and so forth, okay? So I would put $2.75 here. Um, my retail price, of course, to my customers is going to be $5. We know what? 99% of our paparazzi um, items are $5 plus tax, lead, and nickel free. Um, we do have an amazing line of luxury pieces called our Z Collection. There's one right there in the background that's actually from our 2017 collection, the Euphoria Necklace. Those pieces are $25 because, again, they're luxury statement pieces, okay? Um, and so other than that, everything is $5, you know, even our fashion fix items or what have you. And then of course, you know, our children's jewelry um, is $1, okay? So $5 for this item, so I click on five. If you want to, you can put a description. The description can be easily found, again, when you go into um, your back office and pull up the item, or if you go and Google it. I prefer not to put a description in, um, just to save, save on the time because again I'm constantly adding adding and purchasing um, items and so I have to be able to move this quickly and use my time efficiently but some people like to put a description so know that you can do that okay now the SKU what it what I did is I pulled up I didn't pull up my paparazzi account but I can totally do that as well I just typed in just to give you an example with Google hot savannah brown earrings and see remember I told you I always put paparazzi at the end so to pull up paparazzi jewelry okay um, if I didn't know the name, again, I would say like acrylic cheetah print, um, brown earrings or something like that, and then paparazzi. So here's Hot Havana in brown. I'm just going to open this up. It'll take me to paparazzi accessories and show me about the item. Of course, this is me right here, Blanche. Um, you know, here's my consultant ID number and all of that information. So it's going to send me over to like my, my um, paparazzi account because, of course, I'm still logged in. So I look and I see, oh, yep, this is the item right here. And then because I do use the um, SKU numbers that Paparazzi has on the items, again, it's just the way that I like to keep organized. You don't have to use that um, number. You can, you know, put whatever you want in there, words, numbers, what have you. But um, the comment soul system does require you put something in there, okay? And so I'm just going to copy and paste. Literally, I'm going to copy and paste it right into here, right? So I hit copy. Now I paste it bam, my number's there. Again, you can get that from your back office, okay? I don't put anything for brand. I don't put anything for brand style number, okay? This feature right here is going to be new because now Comment Soul does have, have a, um, a way for you to set up an online store. Once you get all your products put in, it automatically syncs up to your online store, okay? So I'm actually in the process of that. That would be a whole different YouTube 
uh, once I get that all complete. But I do love that, that now they do have an online store, official online store set up for you. All you have to do is ask them to please enable that feature onto your account, okay? Again, you can contact them right here through this little message button right here. They are there um, till like 10 p.m. Central Time every day, Monday, Monday through Friday. I think Saturday too, I can't remember. But they're, they're always available there for you. They're really, really sweet and they really take their time in answering your questions. So I absolutely love the staff um, at Comment Soul. I've, it's, it's very rare that you get a customer service that's friendly, professional, and respond quickly, and they're there for a while, okay? So uh, with this new online store feature, what I have done is I have set up collections. Again, all of my items are through, um, you know, color coordinated, okay? So because they're brown earrings, I'm going to put this in the, what I call, all things brown category, okay? You can put tags here too if you need to put more um, descriptive type things. All right, now, Comment Soul was originally intended for, um, um, for business owners that have a clothing store, okay? So for sizes and colors, you don't have to put anything here, okay? That's only if you're, if you're use, you know, you have a clothing store, store, which is something completely separate and different from, altogether from paparazzi, okay? And then here, right here, here's my little button where, you know, charge taxes on this product. Um, but again, because right now I'm running this special, um, nothing will have taxes attached to it for today, right? All right, so then you hit just add product. Now I'm explaining this, and of course it's taking longer to do because I'm taking my time to explain it, but this literally takes like 60 seconds or less once you get into a rhythm and a habit of doing it, um, uploading your items, okay? So then I'm just gonna click on upload image. I also, every time I order, I download all the pictures. I have everything organized and saved in folders. So um, here's for my July, my orders. I'm just going to click on my order folder. And so that way, I can just type in either the name Hot Havana, or I can type in, I mean Hot Savannah, or I can type in, um, I can type in, you know, brown earrings or whatever it is that, you know, you have it saved as. When you download through Paparazzi, all the names are already saved to each piece, okay? All right, so then there's my picture. I can also put the picture of the model there if I choose to. I prefer just to have the picture of the actual product and just of it by itself and that's it but you can add more pictures if you like, okay? Um, so next I go to edit inventory. Um, right now you see there's zero in there because we're just creating this. So I want to put, for this one, I have 10 of these earrings available. So I'm gonna hit add quantity, okay? So now it shows me I have 10. And then if I need to, let's just say, oops, I really had 20, you know, I made a mistake. I can go in here and hit the, hit the plus button again and I can update the quantity. But if I want to add and make it 20, I would just say 10 again. I wouldn't put the 20 in there or else it will put 30, <laughs> right? So you literally just add the extras of how many more you need. Same thing with the subtraction. Let's just say I made a mistake and oh, maybe I only have eight and not 10. I would hit the subtract button here and then I would put two, just to show you a real life example, subtract quantity and it will take two away, and so now I have eight in the system, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and put the two back because I have 10. All right, so really, really simple, very easy. Um, if you are going to decide to use the shipping option through Comment Soul, uh, right now you do have to input some type of weight. You can just put, uh, for example, the number one is what I was told by Comment Soul uh, when I was kind of you know playing with it, doing a test with it. Uh, but again, because I ship through Pirate Ship, I don't even, um, you know, put a weight in there anymore. And so, anyway, this will show you again your cost, your retail. As these items sell, it'll show you how many of these have been put into a cart. It will show you if you're sold out and it's on a waiting list, how many of these items are on a waiting list. And then, of course, once it sells, it will show you how many of these sell. Okay, so I love that. If you click the three buttons right here, it'll actually pull up associated orders. So when someone has purchased these earrings, then I can go in there if I ever need to and say, oh, I need to check that order, um, you know, who purchased those earrings? Like it'll show me, right? Same thing with your wait list, same thing with your cart. Um, I haven't gotten into the barcodes or anything like that with this, but um, I just love it. You can delete it if you need to. Again, you can edit it if you need to. It's a really nice feature, okay? So when I go back here to products, um, it will basically show me now that I have those pair of earrings added into my system, right? So remember I had 648, 
bam, now I have 649. Here's a picture, here's my SKU, here's the name, here's the quantity, okay? So again, really, really cool feature I love about that. All right, um, orders and fulfillments. This will show you, like right now I have 39 orders in here. Um, I need to fulfill these. I need to get these all shipped out ASAP. But this will all allow you to see all of your orders. It will show you the customers, um, their Facebook name, their um, little profile picture. It will show you exactly what they ordered. As a matter of fact, I think we'll just click on, we'll click on one for now, okay? We'll click on one just to give you a real life so you can see it, um, how it goes, okay? All right, so it'll tell you, okay, my customer got four items. Here's the subtotal, here's the shipping. Again, right now for today, right, I have the special going on where the taxes are on me. Otherwise, it would show my tax inf information here and then the total. Here, of course, you know, shows me, oh, okay, I'm paid through Square, right? All right, you can click this packing slip button. It's not necessary, but you can if you want to. If you want to actually print out your packing slip and include it in your order, you can totally do that, right? That's also another way to help you um, if you want a, a, an extra way of staying organized. Okay, of course, it shows me it's unfulfilled because I have not fulfilled this order. I have not shipped it out. This little, um, little pencil here, if I need to change anything to the order, this little um, eye, again, I can view the products specifically. So I love this because I can just pull it up and see, oh, okay, my customer ordered, you know, this net, this um, bracelet, these earrings, these earrings, and this necklace, okay? So I love that. And then when I'm ready, I just hit mark the field. And what it will do is it will actually um, send a message in Messenger to my customer. They have to make sure they enable Messenger. And it will send it to them and say, okay, your order has been fulfilled. Our team is now packing and shipping your order, right? Um, and if for some reason, you know, I needed to switch to a local pickup, if they were local, then we would do that, okay? So I love that. It's really cool that it does that for us. And then also, going on to the next part of it, this right here is where you would go if you wanted to create a label. Right now, I have a Dymo printer. Um, it is a great investment into your business. I would say um, maybe invest into it when, you know, um, you know, you're making some pretty good money in your business. Or if, you're, if you were kind of like me in the beginning, I'm very proactive. So I decided to invest in a Dymo before, you know, my business was really, really, you know, booming like, you know, really well. Because it took away, again, that time of having to, um, I used to just print from a regular inkjet printer. Um, the Dymo is inkless. So I don't have to spend money buying ink. I don't have to spend money um, on, you know, packs of paper, and I don't have to spend the time to literally cut and um, purchase tape and tape those um, labels onto my package. But again, this is something that you want to do when you're upgrading your business, when you know, you're know you ready to start making those investments. And remember, these are all tax write-offs too, right? So anyway, um, but either way it goes, if you have an a inkjet printer, a laser printer, a Dymo printer, inkless, you know, whatever type of printer you have, you can Again, like I said, one-stop shop and create labels in here as well, okay? So then this is the little fulfillment button right here. I click that also if I want to fulfill it. And then this is um, the little return button if I needed to return, um, you know, like shipping or if I needed to return, you know, an item that was damaged or whatever the case may be. If you don't, you don't have a return policy, I recommend that you do um, have one there so that your customers know what it is. Um, but that's, a, that's available to you, okay? So that's how that goes. Now recently also, again, remember I told you this is my birthday month. My birthday was just yesterday. So uh, what I decided to do for my customers over the weekend, the past weekend, is give them free shipping, free shipping on eight items or more. So what I did is I created this birthday code, which is really easy. You literally click add coupon and then you select in there, you know, what you want the code to be and what you want it to be, either a percentage, a flat amount, or free shipping, right? So uh, right now, of course, it says inactive because the code, you know, it's no longer available. I, um, it was only for the weekend for my customers, but I gave them free shipping on a minimum purchase of $40, which was eight pieces, okay? And they could use that code over and over again as much as they want. It allows you to put in a start date, an end date, and then it'll show you how many of those um, people, who, how many people use that code, right? So that's a really cool feature as well. This right here shows you all of your customers. I'm not gonna click on this just for the sake of privacy because 
um, it does have my customers, um, you know, mailing addresses and, you know, information like that. But that right there allows you to be able to see um, all of your customers. And if you do end up having to manually add items to the cart, you can just literally click on your customer's name and then click add product and find the product and add it to their cart. Okay, so that's a really good feature. Um, then you have these other things like, you know, your live, your Facebook setup, your mobile app. Mobile app is going to be only for iPhone users. I'm not currently an iPhone user, um, but if you are, then you can set this up and you personally don't have to be one, but your customers do and um, be able to purchase through your app now, right? Through their iPhone, okay? Their comment sold is working to see um, if they can get Android enabled, but for right now, it is just available to those that have iPhone for your, for your customers. So I actually need to set that up for my iPhone customers, okay? Here's your waiting list. It'll show you any items that are on your waiting list. Here is the shopping cart. I love this because it will show me what my customers have in their cart um, before they pay, right? So that's really cool to kind of look at that sometimes. Inventory log, online store. Again, this is what I'm in the process of setting up right here since I have a lot of products already in um, my comment sold store, okay? And then that's how, you, oh, another way you can contact the team of comment sold and then log out if you ever need to log out, okay? So overall, in a nutshell, um, this again is a system that is absolutely amazing. Um, if you want to cut down on invoicing, I literally used to spend hours just creating invoices, okay? <laughs> so I no longer have to um, create um, invoices. I no longer have to send reminders to my customers that, um, you know, maybe the ones, like I said, that are new or maybe the ones that don't shop with me as much, um, you know, to, you know, please make sure you pay your invoice in a timely fashion, right? Because after that 12 hours that I have set up for my store, then the system will automatically empty the cart. It's not anything that I have to do. And then it'll also, it'll remind the, remind your customer, hey, you have X amount of hour, hours, you know, please make sure, you know, you, you, um, you know, pay so that you get your items. And then it'll also let them know, you know, when it empties the cart. But the good news is that they can totally put the items back in the cart. Um, I will say this is that, um, let's just say if something has sold out and you have customers on the waiting list, then it will bring them off of the waiting list and put it in their cart. And depending on your quantity, you know, maybe that customer may miss out on that item. So, um, you know, obviously it's a good thing for your customers to go ahead and pay, pay for their orders right away. But I do love the, um, that it takes the work out of me in that aspect, okay? Um, I was trying to think of something else that I was gonna say about it, but my phone rung and it kind of <laughs> threw me off a little bit. But again, this is a very amazing um, system to use. Um, I will also show you this really quick as well here on, move this out of the way, let's go back up. Right here in my VIP page, just gonna show you this really quick. I pulled up these earrings, cause I, I just thought they were so pretty. I had to show them these beautiful acrylic blue earrings right here. So in my VIP page, I have my items. Um, this particular item, the picture, um, of course, this is all automated, right? This is all put together here. And literally, my customers just literally comment the word sold, okay? When they comment the word sold, you can see this is my business page, Sparkle Kiss LLC, that's me. And it'll say, thank you, we got your order. And it'll remind them, please go to my site, which is ilovesparklekiss.com and sold.com to review and pay your order. Remember, you have 12 hours to pay before the item expires, okay? So literally, once I have all my, my um, items in there, then I just copy and paste from my comment sold into my VIP page, and then my customers literally can start ordering even when I'm not live, okay? Same thing with uh, my business page. I can put the items there, and then when I'm live, I no longer have to set up baskets. I don't have to go in and create a basket for my customer or create a cubby for my customer or anything like that. I can continue to show pieces more quickly, more efficiently because I'm not stopping to organize and put everything together. Why? Because the system automatically, while we're live, sends them the message on the live to say, hey, thank you for your order. We got it, so on and so forth, okay? 
So this is my business page, Sparkle Kiss LLC. Um, and it does literally the same thing, you know, when you're live, okay? That was my earring live right there. And it'll show, you know, again, when you click on it, it will show um, the customer while you're live. It'll pop up when they comment sold. For me, it's sold space in a three-digit number, okay? So I absolutely love that. It's amazing. Um, it's something to consider. It's something, um, you know, you would definitely um, be investing into your business, a great tax write-off. But if you have questions about it, please drop them below in the comments there. Make sure, again, you like, subscribe to, a, to uh, my channel. You can always check out my VIP page, Sparkle Kiss VIP Bling. Join it if you like. You can always um, like and follow me on my business page, Sparkle Kiss LLC, and also, um, you know, see how I run things on there as well. But um, the last thing that I'm going to say is that um, I, I absolutely enjoy um, creating these tutorials and helping and teaching everybody, answering questions as best as I can, because of course I have a very <laughs> busy business and life with my two kids. Um, but if you have a quick question, like I said, just drop it in the comments. Um, I am going to um, set up some type of consult consultation as well um, for those that maybe have questions that are a little bit more lengthier, that take a little bit more time um, to do that. And then also um, for those that are not tech savvy, but want to be able to use these features, whether it's setting up a Square store or whether it's setting up a comment sold store or a Shopify store or what have you, um, I will also be um, putting something in place as well to be able to set those stores up for you, okay? Now, both of those services, there will be um, a fee involved if you're interested. You just send me an email, info at ilovesparklekiss.com. Okay, and then we can discuss that further. But I just wanted to be able to offer that um, to those as well, because I know um, some people just, just you know, they're not very tech savvy and they need the help in doing that. And I know that I enjoy it. And I enjoy these tutorials that I don't charge for, right? To be able to help everybody that needs help. So that's it. That's all I wanted to um, show you and teach you about Comment Soul. I hope this um, video has been helpful to you. Again, subscribe to the channel. More videos will be coming. Everyone have a blessed and um, a blessed and wonderful day. And I will see you next time on the next video. Talk to you later.